I used to see this cuggly dude, you know, ugly and cute at the same time. This one time he had just bought a new townhouse and we went to this Mexican restaurant around the way. After dinner, we went back to his place to kick it. We had a few drinks and he introduced me to cigars. So after about an hour of chill time, I had to use the bathroom. He showed me where it was and said, look, my plumbing is messed up, so don't flush the toilet. I got the plumber coming by tomorrow to look at it. So I'm like, okay, cool, kind of weird, but okay. He convinced me to spend the night because I had gotten a little bit too tipsy and I lived 45 minutes away. I woke up a few hours later cause my stomach was on fire at this point. All of those drinks and Mexican food caught up with me. I was so scared. I was sweating and thinking to myself, I cannot boo boo in this man's crib, but I had to do something. I had two options. Option one, try to drive home and risk shitting up my car or option two risk his frat brothers knowing that i was the cute boo boo girl i chose the latter because i couldn't hold it so this is what i did i eased up from up under his arm and tiptoed to the bathroom i bribed all the materials needed to perform this exorcism it was just that bad I mean, like, I was in there running water. I had to grab the biggest towel I could find. And then I had to use my abs and self-taught breathing techniques to control the deposit so that it comes out smoothly and not too loud. So I'm in there like. I finished my secret mission, washed up real quick, and got back in the bed to a peacefully snoring man who didn't even realize I had left. I was so proud of my endeavor that I had to tell my mama. She was cracking up when I was telling her the story. I was feeling myself though, so much so that I was even considering teaching a class to women about how to do this. Out of nowhere, old boy called me and I answered all cute like, hey, you missed me already? He was like, hey, do you get embarrassed easily? I'm like, um, no. He's like, okay, cool. So, did you take a shit? I'm like, me? Hell no. Nah. He's like, well, it wasn't but two people up in here. And if a damn show wasn't me, I'm denying it like a mug. Because, you know, I don't do that shit. I'm the lady. So, he goes on with the story. And he's like, well, I tried to do laundry and my washer didn't work. So, when the plumber came by to fix the toilet, he opened up the pipes and was like, bruh, here's why the washer not working. It's the doodle -doo right there. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Did you do? I hung the phone up on his ass. Just looked at my mom with a, I got busted for boo booing face. I ain't talked to him since. Ladies, look. I tell this story not because I wanted to admit to the world that I too boo boo. But because you don't need to be with nobody who's going to call you out on your shit, sis. I'm going to need that back. I ain't got no time.